Hey friends, how's it going? Just as the title states, uh, this is going to be a video about installing MongoDB and Compass. Now, if you're like me, you had some issues initially installing MongoDB, and so we're just going to get right into it. So here's the deal. I've got two links for you in the description. If you haven't followed those yet, go ahead and do that right now. Just pause the video. I'll wait. All right, so hopefully you followed those links and you downloaded both of the files, and what you should be looking at in your downloads folder is these two things here, a MongoDB Windows x86 version, whichever one you uh, decided to download, and then, of course, Mongo Compass. Uh, and so hopefully you've got both of those working just fine. Uh, it doesn't really matter which version. This is going to work for all the versions that are available. So first thing is you want to install the Mongo db and so in this case you're just going to open that up and run it hit next all the way through you don't really need to change any of the settings or anything like that i've already got mine installed uh, because i wanted to make this video quick for you because if you were like me you ran into some issues after you installed this uh, if you're not sure how to install it definitely there's documentation you should check that out on the same page that i linked to in that first link so anyways let's just go ahead and say you installed this and you're like all right now what because i want to run MongoDB and I can't seem to be getting MongoDB. In fact, if I go to Windows and I type in Mongo, nothing shows up and I'm not sure why. So the reason for that, of course, is a couple weird things about Mongo. So we're just going to go to the start menu and we're actually going to right click on it and we're going to select, where is it? I never actually go to it this way. I'm going to go to the start menu and I'm going to type in CMD and that's going to bring up my command prompt and I'm going to just go ahead and hit run as administrator and I'm going to type in CD and then forward slash and that's going to take me to my C drive. Now here's the deal. If you actually run MongoDB uh, either from the folder that it installs in, which by the way is over here in this PC in your local disk in program files and there it is MongoDB. There is a .exe here in the bin folder and this Mongo D will not run. It'll do one of these things where it just kind of starts up and then disappears. And you're like, uh, what? So we're going to fix that real quick. And the reason it doesn't work is because it's missing a specific set of folders uh, in your C drive. And if you want to see what that looks like, you can actually go to this folder in your command prompt and try and run uh, the Mongo D. Uh, Dot exe. But I'm not going to do that here either. You can do that on your own time if you want. I'm here to give you solutions, not show you what kind of problems you're already having. So we're just going to go ahead and CD into this folder right here. So if you're not familiar with command prompts, we're going to go CD, that's change directory. And we're going to type in C colon backslash. And then we're going to type in program files backslash mongo db backslash and what i'm doing here is i'm actually hitting the tab key when i start typing out so if i type in se that's going to stand for server and then i hit tab and then that gives me server uh, and then i'm going to type in bin wait sorry this is going to be version 6.0 then it's going to be backslash bin there we go so take a look at what i've got typed out here that should be relatively the same path that you should be typing in as well it's going to Almost the same thing and then hit enter and that's going to take us into that folder and to confirm that you're in there just type in dir for directory and that's going to show you all the different file folders or files that are in there and this is the one that we're focused on right here the mongo uh, mongo d.exe and like i said if you type in mongo d dot exe or just mongo d actually that's going to try and run it and it's going to show you an error and that error of course is going to look like this oh, and there we go and one of the issues here, I don't want to bombard you with too much extraneous information, but in here, if you look closely, you'll see non-existent path data directory C backslash data backslash DB not found. And that is the issue. Notice where that's at, C data DB. So we're gonna make that directory right now. So we're just going to kind of back out of this real quick, if I can get back to the top, my goodness. There we go. So I'm gonna say CD and then forward slash that's going to get me back to the c drive and now i'm just going to type in a real quick command mkdir that stands for make directory and then we're going to type in data backslash and then db and hit enter and to confirm that it's there we're just going to type in dir and there it is right there at the top data and if you cd into the data folder you should see dir 
a folder called DB, and there it is, the third one down. So that's it. That's that's going to help uh, get that started. And with that started, we should be able to start MongoDB. Now, the issue is if you start MongoDB right now as it is, like I mentioned before, by doing the whole uh, going to the actual MongoDB directory right there and then typing in MongoD, that is going to actually start MongoDB, but the problem is you can't really use it unless you type in the Mongo, type in the command Mongo in a separate window and use the shell for Mongo. Now, if you're like me and you don't really feel like learning the shell, or I should say learning the shell, but right now you don't want to deal with the shell because maybe you're focusing on the front end stuff, uh, like for instance the Python script or C sharp script that's going to like place stuff into the database. And you just want to see the documents placed in the database. You want to be able to interact with it really easily, delete them really easily, see them show up really, populate really easily. Instead of having to type in a whole bunch of commands in the Mongo shell, then we're going to go ahead and fix that as well. So go back to your downloads folder, and we're going to look for Mongo Compass now. And this one I haven't installed yet, so we're going to install it together. Uh, that was the second link that I posted in the description. So if you haven't downloaded it, go ahead and pause the video and make sure you get that. And we're going to get that Compass running. Compass is actually the a graphical user interface that is designed for MongoDB. Okay, it should install it just right there. You've got it right there on your desktop now, which is cool. I'm going to skip all these things. I don't need to see them right now, but you can take a look at them if you want to. I'm going to say start using Compass. All right, and there we go. That's basically it. Now, right there is going to be our local host 27017. That's our default for MongoDB. And if you just hit connect, it will connect to your local MongoDB. And there it is. You have it right now on your computer, your, uh, your own, very own database in Mongo. And you've got three databases here to start with, an admin, a config, and a local. And uh, if you take a look at the local, it does have a startup log here, which shows you your very first document right there. What's cool about Compass is that you can actually go into each, these, uh, each one of these things graphically and create a collection if you want, or you can write your script in Python or C Sharp or whatever language you choose and watch the data populate right in here. And I'm going to have a future video about how to do that as well. Uh, but there you go. And now also you can hit the start uh, button and type in uh, Mongo and it will show up right there, MongoDB Compass. And you can click on it and it will open up the graphical user interface. No extra steps required. Uh, and so this was an issue that I found when I was first installing it. For whatever reason, installing MongoDB did not uh, completely install Compass, even when selecting that checkbox in the install uh, wizard that said install Compass as well. It just didn't do it. So hopefully this helped you because uh, this was something that I was struggling with for a little bit. And there you go. So have fun with your databases. I think they're pretty fun and cool. And like I said, in a future video, I'll be showing you a little bit about how to connect to the database locally, uh, and then also how to write some CRUD modules in order to create, read, update, and delete different documents inside the MongoDB. So with that, hopefully that was helpful and hope you had an awesome time. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to, but you don't have to. I just make these videos to help you out. And that's basically it. So see you in the next one. Goodbye.